We use batteries to power many of our electrical and electronic items and circuits, torches, radios, mobile phones and a heap of other things. One of the key factors we need to know about when using these portable items is the battery lifetime. In other words, how long will the battery last before all the charge is gone? When we look at the data sheets or sometimes on the product itself, we can often find a rating for the battery capacity, which is usually stated in terms of milliamp hours, or if the battery is very much larger, in terms of amp hours. This figure gives an indication of how much charge the battery holds and how long it can provide a certain current. For example, if a battery has a capacity of 2,500 milliamp hours, then it can provide 2,500 milliamps, or 2.5 amps, for an hour. Similarly, it can provide 1,250 milliamps for two hours, and so forth. There's a very simple formula for finding out how long a battery will give a certain level of current. The battery life is simply the battery capacity in milliamp hours divided by the continuous load current in milliamps. For larger batteries, the life is the battery capacity in amp hours divided by the load current in amps. The units of current must be the same on the top and the bottom of the equation. As an example, if a battery with a capacity of 3200 milliamp hours is required to provide a current of 160 milliamps, then we can enter the figures into the formula and discover that the battery should be able to provide this current for 20 hours. However, we must remember that this is the best case situation because of aspects such as the internal resistance of the battery uh, where voltage will fall as it's used and there are other variables so things are never quite as good as you might think. Another area where knowing the battery capacity is very useful is when charging mobile phones from power banks. For a full charge, the power bank must have a capacity greater than that of the phone. So for a phone like this, where the specification states that the battery has a capacity of 2,716 milliamp hours, well, that's a bit exact, but never mind, and a power bank that states the capacity is 25,000 milliamp hours, then it should be able to provide just over nine charges. But again, it's not nearly as good as you might think for a number of reasons, including the fact that the charging efficiency is never 100%, so not all the charge going into the phone battery is stored. This means that you will need more charge from the power bank than the 2,716 milliamp hours if the mobile phone battery is to be fully charged. So these are some of the basics of battery life and battery charging. For more information though, head over to our description where there are some useful links and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like the video.